Good morning. Hey, I'm Pastor Joanna Gregg. This is Mount Horeb Daily Devotional Time Together. It is Wednesday, October 21st. Thank you for joining us. We are opening the scripture each day to hear how um, certain things jump out to us, both uh, questions we have and good news that we hear and then um, asking what is God doing among us now um, so we're gonna look at Daniel chapter 6 today and it's a really long suggested reading it's chapter 6 1 through 28 it is a familiar story you can guess which one is from Daniel it's Daniel and the lion's den and the um, Surrounding details, you you may know, you may have um, forgotten, are basically that um, a new king, Darius, got tricked into, uh, well, trapped really, into um, putting Daniel in a lion's den overnight. The uh, motiva motivators were some jealous, um, power-hungry, uh, satraps or presidents or governors who um, knew that Daniel was a good leader and were jealous. They knew that Daniel served God and they could not find any fault with Daniel, but they um, finally got the king to sign a piece of paper or whatever they used, stone maybe, and uh, that said, anybody who, who prays to any gods or any human or divine things besides me, the king, Darius, will get thrown into a pit of lions, and um, which doesn't really seem like a normal thing, but I think it, it was a, a practice like for a false witness for... Um, you know, heresy, slander. So, there you go. There's the first few verses summed up for you. And Daniel knew that the interdict was signed, and he still continued to pray three times a day. Was it three or six? Three times? Yep, three times. Three times a day, and then the uh, his fellows reported him to King Darius and basically even though King Darius loved and wanted Daniel to be one of his top leaders he was trapped by his own law that he signed into putting Daniel in the lion's den and we know how the story ends that's where we are let us start with I don't know let's start with verse 19 then, at the break of day, the king got up and hurried to the den of lions. When he came near the den where Daniel was, he cried out anxiously to Daniel, O Daniel, servant of the living God, has your God, whom you faithfully serve, been able to deliver you from the lions? Daniel then said to the king, O king, live forever. My God sent his angel and shut the lion's mouth so that they would not hurt me, because I was found blameless before him and also before you. O king, I have done no wrong. Then the, exceedingly, the king was exceedingly glad and commanded that Daniel be taken up out of the den. So Daniel was taken up out of the den, and no kind of harm was done found on him because he had trusted in God. Then the king gave a command, and was um, he threw the bad guys, if you will, those jealous fellow leaders, into the into the lion's den as punishment for false witness and he said to all his people the king said this is the living god enduring forever his kingdom shall never be destroyed and his dominion has no end he delivers and rescues he works signs and wonders in heaven and on earth for he has saved daniel from the power of the lion so this daniel prospered during the reign of darius and the reign of Cyrus, the Persian, the word of the Lord for the people of God. Thanks be to God. So, um, as I said in the beginning, what what grabbed me at at the um, 
first reading of this passage was just that this was more about lies and deceit than I had as a child dwelt upon. This is a story that we hear about when we're kids and we sing songs about it and we don't make light of it. We just focus on the part where God saved Daniel. And yes, that is the important part. Um, but reading it now, I see how uh, the law, not the law, but a law, um, basically was used against God's good order, God's good kingdom. And that Darius was not the bad guy. I had forgotten that as well. Darius, the king, did not want Daniel to perish. And um, so those are the things that jump out to me. And um, I think of times also, when have we been, when, been fooled, been tricked by uh, our own ideals or our own sets of rules? basically backed into a corner to um, make decisions that go against what we think God would want. That is a big deal, and that is a big part of life. And uh, maybe you can think of an example when you have felt between a rock and a hard place, between the lines, den, and the, and the interdict. Um, Daniel, was found there and he even though he knew that it was against the rules not necessarily the god-given law against the rules to pray three times a day at least for 30 days he didn't let that scare him and he kept praying anyway so uh simple questions to end with when have you felt delivered and saved from danger or the lion and uh, I wonder what jumps out to you uh, other than other than the the faith in the face of adversity the face of trickery the face of um, um, jealousy those, those are all things that that we can be familiar with as humans and thanks be to God that God is there with us that um, there are times when we can see the lion's mouths are closed and that truth speaks through God and through God's word because he delivers and rescues and he works wonders on this earth. So thank you for joining us this morning. I hope you've heard a good word and I invite you to go back and read um, Daniel in the Lion's Den. It is a more complex story than we have um, heard as, as little ones. Uh, all right, let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for being with us, for saving us from the things that we need saving from, including our own jealousy and sin. Thank you for the people who protect us every day for our family, for our local law enforcement, for our government and our leaders. May they each know justice and know how to serve your justice. Thank you for each person here today. May we go out into the world and see your good news and share it with others. In your name we pray. Amen. Thanks again. I'll see you soon.